Here's a look at your top news headlines from Newsy. At least 16 children and one teacher are reported dead after a school bus fire in Pakistan. Seven more said to be injured. According to the BBC, police said a compressed gas cylinder exploded on the bus. Compressed natural gas is widely used in Pakistan as a cheaper alternative to gasoline and diesel fuel. Al Jazeera says the Pakistani government has spoken out against using the gas cylinders to power vehicles, but warnings have failed to have any real impact on the practice. Doctors are surprised they didn't see more serious injuries from a hotel shuttle bus crash in Atlanta Thursday. Four people are reportedly still in the hospital this morning. At least 16 people were initially reported injured. 18 people were on the bus when it crashed into a tractor trailer near Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson Memorial Airport. Another acquisition could be in the works for Yahoo. Now it's Hulu in the company's sites. Yahoo appears ready to trump offers made by competitors such as DirecTV and Time Warner. All Things D broke the story Friday saying Yahoo had officially made an offer to buy the video giant Friday morning. That offer comes two days after Hulu's Wednesday deadline. According to CNET, Hulu could be a profitable acquisition for whichever company gets the deal. The site has a significant following. Hulu has more than 4 million subscribers who pay about $8 a month for its services. Overall, in 2012, Hulu made more than $700 million in revenue, including ad sales. Finally, holiday travel in the Northeast might have a bit of a wintry look to it this weekend. New York and Pennsylvania extending on up into New England. There will be Snow. Here it is, late May, and yes, we've got a little bit of snow to tell you about, but the rain is really falling down. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne, highlighting your top news headlines, making you smarter, faster.